Hey there ladies, it's Megan Maria, your independent Chuck Couture designer, and happy, happy Friday night. So, we are doing a gynormous project today. Oh, there we go. Hello, everybody. I'm unfrozen now. Um, so this is a ginormous project. And this is either going to be ridiculously cool or a total epic fail. <laughs> one of the two. So I'm going to get my comments closer. This is one of those transfers I am doing for the sole purpose of myself. I <laughs> Not that I don't love you all, because of course I do love you all. But... This is a transfer I absolutely positively love. I have loved it since day one. I think you can see it now. Hey, Jan. Hey, Terry. So at least if I'm going to have an epic fail, I'm going to have it with friends, right? So this transfer is called To Plant a Garden. I believe is the actual name of it. Yep, To Plant a Garden is the official name of this transfer. This transfer is the largest transfer we sell. It's ginormous. <laughs> so I'm a little nervous about doing it live because the only time I've ever done one this size, I was able to cut it in half and do it in two pieces. This one I don't have the capability to do that with. So we're going to figure it out together. I'm going to attempt to make it as easy as possible so that um, if I'm going to have an epic fail, it's not horrible. And um, I'm going to try to get your comments closer because I know you're talking to me and I cannot see you. Oh, there we go. Okay, so, oh, Lisa, I love this transfer too. If I would stop talking to myself. Okay, hang on. Hey, Montana, happy Friday. Okay, so this, yes, this is a gorgeous transfer. So, to give you an idea of how big it is, <laughs> my chalkboard is even bigger. But what the transfer says is, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. And apparently this is a quote from Audrey Hepburn. And it's just gorgeous. There's so much detail in this, and it's a ton of fun, I think. It's going to be a ton of fun to do, because when we pull this off, if it works... You're going to be like, oh, why am I not doing Chalk Couture at home? Um, so if, we, if we're going to epic fail, you might as well share the video now so that all of your friends can see us epic fail together. So if you could please share my video, I would greatly appreciate it. If you share it while we're live, then your friends could join us. And if you really have a friend that likes to garden, you could tag them and they could join us as we uh, go down this path together. So I'm going to try to simplify things. Originally, I was going to really simplify things and do it all in white because it is stunning all in white on the black. I've seen pictures of it done that way. But then I thought on this bottom are all these amazing flowers that wouldn't it be cool? Try to see if you can see them. Wouldn't it be cool to do those amazing flowers in different shades of pink? Because we have all these really cool new pink colors. So we're going to try it. If it doesn't work, we wash it off. If it works, we say yay, right? Okay, so I'm going to hold my breath. I am going to... Stir my paste. So I will do this transfer in steps because I can't cut the transfer. Um, so I will do the white and then I will pull the white and then I will lay it back down and we will do the flowers. And I can, well, I'm not too worried about it because we're going to lift that up, but I do have some air in my flowers. Uh, this board has a little bit of give to it. Um, I just don't think it's secured well in the frame. So 
We're going to try it. But I really do think, because there's flowers throughout the transfer, I really do think these flowers we're going to leave white. And just these bottom ones we're going to do in pink. Because I, 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 yeah. <laughs> we could do it, but I just don't know if I have that much adventure in me tonight. If we hate it in white, we'll wash the flowers off and do them in pink. But I, yeah. You all feel my pain, right? Because you're all holding your breath with me. Because you know that this could truly be an epic fail. What will be an epic fail about it will not be the transfer. What will be an epic fail about it is when I have to take the transfer off. Because of its size, the likelihood of me not having the back stick to itself is pretty slim because of its size. And I'm one little person. It, usually, you would tackle a transfer like this with friends. <laughs> so, we're going big or going home. So the first thing I'm going to do, because this is such a large transfer, I'm not going to dip and go. We are going to use the big boy, because he's coming out to play. Um, I am going to actually put the paste right directly on the uh, transfer. But I need to remember that I do not want to chalk the entire thing. I want to leave some of these flowers. So to remind myself, because I'm going to be nervous, and I am just going to go, you know, because that's how you all know, that's how I am. I need to put these little reminders out to myself of, oh wait, don't chalk that part. Um, so that I stop. Because otherwise I won't stop. I will just go, 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 go. Go, go, because, you know, it's very nerve-wracking. <laughs> I try really hard not to show how nervous I am every single night. Um, I, the constant jabbering at you probably is the first indication that I do get nervous every night when we do this. But, um, I guess I wouldn't mind maybe doing these, leaving these, oh, see, I'm going to complicate this. I wouldn't mind some, you know, maybe a couple pink on the top pink on the bottom and then white. So I'm going to uh, not do these guys and see what happens. We can always wash. We can always, always wash. I'm glad you guys think that this is so suspenseful and exciting. <laughs> this is like, you know, um, it's not as riveting and exciting as Chicago Fire. I'm never letting that go. Ever, Debbie, just so you know. <laughs> I Well, maybe someday I'll let it go. But it is, you know, fun to watch Maria <laughs> fail. <laughs> so I think we'll do these. I'm hoping also that you guys can see because, I mean, it it's almost as big as me. <laughs> this is like me. I feel like I'm hugging my box when we got the transfers in. Um, so I hope you can see. And there may be points because it's not 100%. Why don't I just move my table closer to me? Because that leaves you guys, you guys are not on my table anymore. Huh. Is that better? Things are falling, but can you see me better now? Let me see. We'll, we'll let it catch up and see if you get a better view of this. Okay, so I'm stalling. <laughs> Can you tell Maria is stalling because she's nervous? Okay, so here we go. We're going to move the table. I know. That's how much of a delay there is. Okay, that's better. You can see it better. All right. I can't stall anymore. We got to go. Okay, here we go. You know, in many ways, I do find the bigger transfers to be easier to do. Um, because you typically do them in one color, maybe two, they don't have all that little tiny detail work. Um, so they can very much be easier. It's more the managing the actual transfer that becomes the issue. Um, because if it sticks to itself, you know, that's when you ruin, and this, these are expensive transfers. I want to say this is a $39.99 transfer, so I definitely don't want to ruin it. It also does not fit in any water bath I own, so I take it directly to the sink when we're done. i got to make sure I don't do these two little guys. All right, go. 
big or go home, ladies. Here we go. And this is the easy part. The whole squeegeeing away. And this is where, when you have big transfers like this, the big boy makes all the difference in the world. I would never attempt this size transfer with a small squeegee, ever. So I did get over a little bit because I don't know, and I'm gonna have to use a small squeegee. Um, so I will have to do a little cleanup down on the bottom now. And I have way too much paste. I'm gonna put some of that back in. So the other thing that you would think when you do a big transfer really is that it takes more time. And again, because if you use the right tools, it goes relatively quickly. Okay, so I've got the major parts chalked, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. If I can reach them, they're so far away. I'm going to go in with a small squeegee and get those little sections because I didn't want to go over the other areas because I want to make those colors. And again, I don't know. If, I don't know if that will work, but we're going to try it. So this transfer is. Uh, not from the new catalog, but it is still in the catalog. They did not retire this one because it's very popular, obviously, because it's of its gorgeousness. Um, I am going to stand up, so hang on. They um, did bring it back with the new catalog, so you can get this transfer, but I did not order this transfer. I'm going to actually do this section down here in the corner and then wash off the white because I don't know how to do it otherwise. Um, so I waited to buy this and then I realized they might not bring it back and I was really upset because I loved this transfer. But then they did bring it back so I was very happy. They, we do tend to retire <laughs> very popular transfers unfortunately at times because they, they only have so many. Alright, I think we've got everything white that's supposed to be white. I think we've got that done. I don't have any major lines. So this is the tricky part. So this is where, ladies, I hope you're all on your edge of the seat and you're holding your breath. Because this is very sticky. Because this is like a plasticky board. It's not really a chalkboard. It's almost like I would say, it's almost like a, um, which we'll call it a dry erase board. trying to not ruin it and stretch it as I pull it, but it is very, very stuck. Can you see? Oh, it's gorgeous, ladies! It's absolutely, positively, no, I don't want to do that. Absolutely gorgeous. I want to make sure I'm pulling from the middle as much as I can, because I don't want to stretch my silk screen. This is very stuck on. Okay. So this bottom part we didn't do. So it. Okay. So I'm just gonna lay it down. I need to sit down. <laughs> okay, we did a good job. We got what we wanted. So now we need to dry it. I don't like how this part. You can see it. It kind of got uh, distressed looking. So when we lay it back down, I'll probably try to fix that. So we have a couple sections where we put white that we don't want white. So I need to wash that off. So that I, the other thing, I, I'm not too worried about washing it off because by chalking over it, it will cover it. The problem is I'm not, I don't want to wash my transfer. I don't want to take it all the way off. So there's already white paste in the transfer. So I, uh, I might be in trouble on that, those parts because the paste is still in the transfer and I don't want to wash the transfer because I can't wash the transfer with you guys because th this transfer doesn't fit in any water bath. All right, so I'm going to try. This bottom section, we may just have to wash the whole transfer off and um, kind of 
start over on the bottom. But Okay. So it's dry almost completely. And when it's completely dry, then I'm just going to lay it back down and do the bottom flowers. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. This is very much reminds me of their Christmas time. There was one that said, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And it had the same, all the detailing, and it was this big. And it was just, I did so many things with that transfer. But that transfer was very nice to me because I could cut it in half. Um, the farm to table, table to soul transfer is another one that's just as big and gorgeous. The reason I have to dry it before I just lay the transfer back down is because um, the transfer can smear the, the chalk. And then I don't end up with that beautiful slick chalk. It just gets bumpy. It gets a texture to it. It doesn't ruin it, but it doesn't give it that. It's kind of like when you have lines and you don't get rid of your lines. You'll see them. I see them. From a distance, you don't see them. Okay, so I think I'm pretty dry. Enough to lay back down. So this is where Maria should be more careful when she does a transfer like this. So I pulled the transfer and I kept moving the board around. And I have some issues now with the transfer. Okay. So on the transfer up here, I got white paste. Can you see that? Because I laid it into the lid of my paste or the, um, the big boy squeegee. So I have to get that off because it's on the back side of the transfer. And when I lay the transfer down, it will the chalk will go on the transfer or on the board. So I have to get that off. So I'm just taking a wipe and washing it off. But that will get my transfer wet. So now I will need to make sure that that's dry before I set it back down because um, if it's not dry then the wetness, the moisture, can also make your chalk run. So I just got to get all that off because I don't, it's not important like in this corner where I'm taking it off because, um, you know, I can wash that part off of my board. The other part I would really like to do is in these little sections, there's still chalk stuck in it. But I don't know how I'm going to get that off without... You know, making everything all wet. Because I really don't want to make everything all wet. Okay, so we're going to just dry it a little bit. Now my board has some smudges from when I tried to get rid of stuff. So sometimes when you clean your boards off, you get a little residue from the chalk. And it just means you just have to go over it again. And because I'm, you know, normally it's not a big deal because you, you can take your transfer off and fix it. But I'm going to lay the transfer right back down on top and put chalk on top of it. So it would be like chalking on a non-clean surface. You're never going to get it fixed. Okay. Here we go for round two. Now this part of the transfer, I don't have to lay back and stick back down. I just need to lay it. Well, I guess I do have to stick it back down up here. Because up here we have the flowers that we wanted to do. Okay, are you with me? So now what we do, see how I, <laughs> I got chalk everywhere. Not, that's from laying it down. Again, this part is not a big deal because it's just like wiping up your board, like when you go off your, your transfer. So you just wash that off. like magic it's all done so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna very carefully lay the transfer back down 
and re-stick it. But I have to be careful because, first of all, I don't want an air bubble. And secondly, I can take the painter's tape off now because I know where I'm tracking. Um, there's white paste all over my transfer. So I don't want to inadvertently grab some white chalk on my finger and push it through the screen. Because in doing that, I will chalk on the other side and I don't want to do that. So I think there's just going to be a couple little sections that are going to need a little extra work. And again, I don't really want to stick this back down. And I have this one section over here that is not level. It has a big air pocket in it. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to lay this part down and chalk, and then I'm going to do the top part. I'm going to do them separately, just because it will make it go easier, I think. The other thing that I can do up here, because I really don't want this to stick, because the more times I try to pull it off, the more times I have likelihood of pulling that chalk off that is done. So what I can do, if I had kept my backer on this side of the room, I could have just put the backer down, but I put it on the other side because it's so big. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this on top of this so it doesn't stick. But yet, I get the parts we need to chalk are stuck. So I, I think the parts where I got the white on it, where I didn't want white, we're going to just have to wash off. So that will be a three-parter that you guys don't get to see because I can't take you to the sink with me. And I have chalk all over me. <sighs> okay. I lost my garbage can in moving my table. <laughs> all right. So now these flowers are so pretty. Oh, my goodness. So I was thinking, uh, honeydew, pale, pale green, cherry blossom, which is a really pretty, pretty pale, pale pink, and the new peony, which is just gorgeous. I haven't, oops, I haven't used this one. Yet. So just kind of, so I would say there's three different kinds of flowers in this. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about are all the right, all the same flowers the same color. I know sometimes I do that where um, all the roses I make pink and all the, I don't know my flowers names, daisies I make blue or whatever. I, I'm not going to be as concerned about this because I'm going to be up against the clock on this guy. Because it still is, even though it's only a third of the transfer, it's still a big area to try to get. And it may not work. And we may need to wash it off and just do it all in white. <laughs> Which I'm okay with because it's gorgeous all in white. It's just gorgeous all the way. I've seen people do way more patient people than me. Because um, they take it off in between every color and wash it. And you can definitely do that when you're not live. I just can't do it because we're live. Okay, so I'm stirring up my peony, which is a really pretty brighter pink, but not horribly bright. Um... I tell you, it's a Pepto-Bismol color. <laughs> and then Cherry Blossom is a, a white, I would call it a white pink. Um, you know, soft baby pink. And this one is nearing the end of its life. So I'm going to grab my water bottle. Everything is really far away now that I moved the table so you guys could see. So I'm just going to add my water to the Cherry Blossom and stir it up. This guy has definitely reached the end of his life. His container is a mess. It's all a mess, but that's okay because he's still going strong. We're going to get a couple more projects out of him. And then I need honeydew. Ooh, honeydew is new. Honeydew is pretty. Okay, so you guys, again, you're really far away. So let's see what you guys have been saying. 
looks fabulous on that chalkboard with the galvanized frame. I agree, Debbie. Um, I'm not a huge galvanized fan, but first of all, this is a ginormous chalkboard. Um, I would tell you this chalkboard is... Forty-six inches? No. No. Eighteen and eighteen. See, this isn't that bad. See, I'm too busy worried about chalk. I can't do math. I do math for a living. <laughs> I cannot add up eighteen by thirty-six. No. Yeah. Thirty-six. This is thirty-six inches. I can do math. Eighteen and... It's thirty-six by twenty-four. It's a big chalkboard. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Connie. Welcome to... Connie, aren't you on vacation? What the heck are you doing watching me? <laughs> We're doing an epic fail here tonight, Connie. We're trying really hard not to screw up this really big transfer. Okay, so when you are doing a project like this, you really want to think through before you even start with the chalk. What colors am I doing where um, so that I know in advance... I'm not guessing, like, I'm not stopping and saying, oh, wait, but maybe I should do that there, maybe I should do that there, because then that, the clock is ticking while you're doing those things, and you are drawing. So I know right off the bat, the Audrey Hepburn, I should have made white when I did the white, so I'm going to make that white. Um, but everything else, I know the leaves will be the honeydew, and then I'm just going to go, I could hot mess the flowers, and that would make my life much easier. But I don't want to do that. I really want to try to do some distinct, but they're very close together. We're just going to go for it, and I'm just going to go back and forth between the two colors. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the... Well, I'll do the Audrey Hepburn last. I'm going to do the green last because that's the part where there's chalk in the screen already and if I do the green on top of that chalk then it will dry even faster so we're just I guess we're gonna start with the pinks these very 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 pretty pale pinks so here we go and I'm not gonna be you know stressing out if you know one of the flower leaves on one of the flowers gets the wrong pink um, if you're that detail orientated which it, many people are and they make creative beautiful gorgeous things um just don't do it live and do it near sync so because then what you do is you chalk like you would chalk all these colors so you would chalk all the peony color you would take the transfer off wash the transfer lay it back down and now go back and do the cherry blossom that's how you would get really clean, crisp color di differentiation. You can do it this way when you're a very careful chalker. You all know me. I'm a messy chalker. But I'm going to try to do it. Because I love these colors. I think this is going to be really pretty when we're done. I hope it's going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty no matter what, right? Because it's already gorgeous. The white part we did already, we already know is gorgeous. If I'm not ruining it by hold it, putting the towel on it, right? <laughs> so I I'm, I'm think I'm going to do the rest in... See, this is why you don't want to stop like that. You don't want to think. You just want to go. I'm going to just do the rest in Cherry Blossom. Because I prefer the lighter pink color. And that way I just have those little pops of the darker. Now my big key with the cherry blossom is just not getting the leaves. Because I have the other color done, so now this it's a little easier. I'm not as stressed out about worrying about getting, you know, the the pink color in the other flower. So I think this transfer would be amazing for my sister. Um, my sister is a huge gardener. She has the most stunning most beautiful gardens you have ever seen. I don't know how she does it. She has the patience of a saint is the only thing I can think of. Because she goes out there and she weeds and weeds and weeds and oh my goodness. But she has just a gorgeous, gorgeous garden. I don't have
have that kind of patience. First of all, I don't know what's a weed in a flower. So I tend to pull it all. And I am drying, so I need to speed up. The other thing I could have done was I could have done this in halves. I could have done half of it and pulled that half. But again, because of the size of this transfer, it's very hard to pull it like that. Now, if I wasn't, again, if I wasn't doing this live, I could do that because, um, you know, I'd have more space. I'd be all at those things. All right, time for green. And I need to speed up my process here. bit of green in my white already that I didn't want to do but that's okay it's not going to be perfect and I'm okay with not perfect because I'm not perfect and I, I don't think we need to always strive to be perfect we just need to strive to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be Part of the problem is because the white chalk is on it already, I can't tell the difference of where I'm supposed to be. That's okay. We're going to find out here pretty quickly how we did. Okay, so I just need to make my Audrey Hepburn white. And then we're pulling. Again, I'm trying to not stretch my transfer, pulling from the middle. Okay, so I have all the chalk off. I just don't have the transfer off now. Okay, this is gorgeous. We have cleanup to do, but it's gorgeous. Okay, I am simply going to take this very ginormous transfer and stick it to the back because it needs to go in the water. Well, we gotta do the top. Oh, we're not done yet. We gotta still do the top part. Okay. Are, are you guys exhausted? Because I'm exhausted. And I'll show you the colors up close, but let me do some cleanup first. Oh, it, ladies, this worked. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I do have some cleanup to do. And quite honestly, it's minimal. <laughs> so I'm not going to complain. I expected a little worse cleanup than this. So, wow. Oh my gosh, this is one of those transfers that is just gorgeous. I know I keep saying that. Can you tell I like this transfer? I think you can always tell the ones I like. Because I go on and on and on about them. All right, so here we are so far. Let me dry it first, because I, I don't want to risk sticking my finger in it. So I have some cleanup, and how I will do that is, again, I'll wash the transfer. And then I'll lay it back down and I will just re-chalk the areas I need to clean up. And it'll be much easier because first of all, I don't need to put the entire transfer back down. Plus, I'm not, you know, I'm just doing little sections so I don't have to worry so much about drying. So here you go, ladies. Here's what we've got so far. So see the differences in the pink? Isn't that cool? I like these colors. I like that new peony color. It's kind of, um, it's not a horrible bright pink. So what we have left to do here on this bad boy is this corner. We just have to do those flowers because we decided to do those in pink too. Oh, we could have done them in white and we'd be done. 
<laughs> Aren't you thinking, hey Maria, what the heck were you thinking? We should be, we should have done those in white, Maria. You know what? And the other thing I'm realizing is I could have taken the board out of the frame. It comes right out of the frame. With these little <laughs> That would have been an important thing for me to realize sooner as well. Okay, so, other than the fact I have chalk everywhere, which is okay, it washes off. Um, now, we need to do this little tiny corner. So I'm just, again, making sure my board surface area is clean because I don't want to chalk over a dirty surface because I, you know, you're not, you can't, you can't wash it off ever again. Well, you could wash it off, but then you lose your transfer. You lose your, your beautifulness. Can't wash your boards off once you make them. You're kind of, you're stuck with whatever you chalked on top of. Okay. Just kind of helping it dry a little bit. Because we're going to lay just that corner back down. I'm going to make sure I'm dry, so I, I'm going to do that again where we just lay the towel on top of it. That way I don't have to deal with it sticking. Although I do need to see it to line it up, so we'll have to put that down as we go. I'm going to take my painter's tape off of my transfer. So see how my transfer curled at the bottom? This is where I talk about how important it is at what angle you pull your transfer off. And that's because there was no way for me to get this transfer off without doing that. Um, sometimes I'm willing to, to deal with the curling because I know it gets the transfer off. Okay, so I lie am lined up pretty close to lined up. I don't want to set this part back down. This is where you gotta manipulate this transfer and that's where I start to worry about I'm gonna get the back of it stuck to itself. So I'm laying this down because that's the other thing that kind of hurts you in lining it up is it's constantly sticking to your surface. Okay. So we're just getting in position. And we're just laying this corner back down. That's all we gotta do. It's just this little tiny corner. And these little tiny leaves. And we'll be done. Other than some cleanup. Chuck all over my phone. Okay. So, oh, everybody likes the peony too. I know. I'm, I'm loving the new peony. And I wasn't going to order it. <laughs> so funny how I don't order things and then I order them and then I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so again, think through what colors am I going to do. Again, I think I want more of the lighter pink up here. So I'm going to do the rose in the peony. And then the other two flowers I'm going to do in the cherry blossom. So when I clean up, I'm going to wash the transfer and I'm going to lay it back down. And if you guys, you guys tell me, I mean, I, I don't know how much of this stuff you guys really want to watch. I can stop the live, wash the transfer off and start a new live if you want to see how I'm going to fix that part. But all I'm going to do is wash the transfer off, just what I'm doing now, lay it back down and just re-chalk over the parts that I'm not happy with the way they, um, you know, they distressed. But that's up to you. I can do that if you guys want me to do that, but you have to tell me if you want me to do that. I'm always trying to be, get you guys out of here as fast as possible. Because <laughs> it's, yeah, we've been doing this for a little while now. And it's Friday. So we have tons of basketball games tomorrow oh my gosh it's the championship of the world as charlie will tell you <laughs> charlie's team is undefeated and they are playing tomorrow for the championship so if they win so they have a game right away in the morning and if they win that game they literally go into the next game 
and if they win, so they have to win the first game to go to the second game, and if they win the second game, then they, they're the champions of the world. Ella has the same situation in the morning. She has a game, and if they win, they play the second game for the championship. They're not undefeated, though, but Charlie's just, you know, convinced because they're undefeated that he's going to be awesome. Okay, so now we have our flowers in the corner. I'm going to dry them, and I will show you our project. This is pretty. This is so pretty. Love these colors together. Kind of blowing up my dried up chalk. That's what happens, you know, it gets dried on your squeegee and... Tell me I did it upside down. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can't really hear. Let me go back more. So, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. I'll show it to you up front or up close. I feel like I'm going in slow motion. And then see the flowers in the corner that we did in the colors. This is our, tr our project for the evening. So time-wise, you know, even with doing all those colors and all those steps, we didn't really take a lot of time. If we had done it all in white, we would have been lickety-split done. So what I will do now is I will wash the transfer off. And this is the section I don't like, right in here, where it's kind of just distressed. So I will lay it down and just fix that. Um, and like, see here and here. Otherwise, and maybe the Audrey Hepburn looks a little distressed. Those are the only parts I'm really gonna fix. I like the fact that these flowers are white and these flowers are colored, that doesn't bother me. Um, I wouldn't change anything in the colored flowers. It's just this little part kind of bugs me. So I'll fix that. So that's all we do. So, I'm going to hang up. <laughs> Please share my video. <laughs> this is to plant a garden. It's the largest size transfer we have. It's an uh, E size transfer. Um, very few E size transfers are not just pieces that go together. This is one of the very few that's all one piece. Um, and it's because it's just stunningly gorgeous. But you can do this on a smaller board. Um, you can do it on an 18 by 24 board, I think is a size board that it's meant to be done on. Um, but I'm going to hang up. I'm going to wash my transfer off, fix it. I'll take a picture, and I will post it for you to see the parts I fixed so you can check out it all done. So thank you so much for watching me, ladies. Happy Friday. Um, have a great night. Thanks. Oh, I moved my table. Now you're really far away. I can't push the button. I gotta move. <laughs>